What is going on you guys? Welcome to another episode of Market Monday where I help you guys make coins throughout the week. And right here we have the Antonio Brown Team of the Week Hero for limited time only. 48 hours in the game, 94 overall with speed run style. If you guys had Antonio Brown in any fantasy league, wow. I mean, this guy is a monster. Week 9, set the NFL season high for most receiving yards in a game with an incredible 284 yards on 17 catches. Unfortunately, no touchdowns. If you would have scored like one or two touchdowns, I mean, game over. I mean, if you had him in, you know, just a fantasy league with your friends or whatever, it would have been a hard time for that person that you went up against with Antonio Brown on your team to, you know, make any sort of run to beat you. Unless you just had trash players, like Antonio Brown would have just probably single-handedly won you that game. But uh, we do have Antonio Brown. We will show you guys his attributes here. 92 speed, 93 spectacular catch, 98 catch in traffic, 86 jumping, 87 release, 97 route running. I mean, that is absolutely insane. I got to say that again, 97 route running. Like, this card is going to be so good. Going across the middle, you know, doing some slants, doing some, uh, I guess, post routes to the outside. I mean, it's this card's going to be really fun for you guys to play with. Like, that's a really good card for sure. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the actual, you know, Team of the Week set. Of course, a Titan got a card, and I will show you who it is when we get to the main set. But right here, we have Carlos Williams, Sterling Moore, Cole Beasley, and Marcus Williams. Someone told me to say on Twitter, I'm actually just saying this because I just caught it, maybe like five minutes before I made the video, that Marcus Williams is a cornerback and not a safety. Um, I think that's what he wanted me to say, wanted me to say, so... I don't know why they made him a safety in Madden, but uh, according to him, he is a cornerback. So I'm not sure if that's true or not, but that's exactly what he wanted me to say. So I said it. Uh, here's Carlos Williams up for 17K. And there here are his attributes if you guys want to see that. 92 speed, 95 trucking, 90 carry, 92 acceleration. Not a bad player at all. Sterling Moore, 83 overall. Uh, we have zone defense style on him with 89 speed, 86 man, 90 zone. Pretty good card right there. Uh, 90 speed for Cole Beasley, 84 spectacular catch, 92 jumping, 91 catch in traffic, and of course he's only five foot eight, so he might actually be a pretty cool like slot receiver to play with if you're a Cowboys fan. And then of course Marcus Williams here, we have him at 14K, 82 overall, and he does have 90 speed with 80 hit power and 87 zone coverage. So overall, you know not the best safety in the game or you know cornerback or whatever he is, but. Um, Pretty good player, though, uh, in real life. We have Marcus Mariota here, Tyler Eifert, Jasper Brinkley, and Kendall Langford in the Thomas Davis set. Go ahead and take a look at Mariota, and this card is pretty overpowered, in my opinion. I mean, right off, like, right off the bat when the game came out, and you guys saw his rookie card, his gold rookie card, it was actually pretty ridiculous how good that card was in terms of, like, you know, throwing accuracy. Um, I think it was already in the 90s, and right here we have a 90 speed, 94 throw power, 93 short, 94 medium, 85 deep, 73 uh, play action, and 95 throw on the run. So, like, this already beats out, you know, like, the Derek Carr that we just got. It beats out most of the fast quarterbacks. Like, there really isn't a guy that has 90 speed or above <clears throat> that has this type of accuracy. So, I mean, for some people, this might be the best quarterback that's currently in the game. Um... Maybe not, though. I mean, there is, like, Donovan McNabb. But, uh, I mean, for only being 100 and, what is this, 100 and, I think he's up for, yeah, 136K. Like, this will probably drop down to maybe, like, 70. And if you guys could get a quarterback like this for 70K, like, that might be the best quarterback for your coins, in my opinion. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a Titans fan. Like, I could... I could care less. Like, let's say this card is a, a Jets card or something. Let's say it's Geno Smith. If, if, even if it was Geno Smith, I would say the same thing. Like, that's a really, really good card. So definitely happy about that. Definitely happy to see a Titans player get a Team of the Week card again, which does mean that we got to win. Finally. All right, Tyler Eifert. Uh, Tyler Eifert, one of the best tight ends in the NFL. Showing that this year for sure. Tyler Eifert currently uh, 6 foot 6, 87 speed. Very, very good. 93 catching, 94 stackable catch, 91 catch in traffic. And 70 run blocks. So, very good tight end right there. And, of course, that'll go down as well. Uh, very, very good tight end for the coins when that gets down. Uh, we have Jasper Brinkley here, 86 overall for the Giants. 82 speed, 91 power, 93 per, uh, pursuit, and 93 tackle. Again, another pretty good card right there. And then we move over to Kendall Langford. And Kendall Langford, of course, for the Colts. It had to win. Like, they just had to win. Titans finally win, and then the Colts win. 
it just kind of upset me because uh, you know Titans still have like a very very minor very minuscule chance to win that division if we just keep winning I mean actually if we keep winning it's actually a pretty good chance but uh, right now it's pretty minuscule uh, if the Colts are gonna start winning games but uh, there is Kendall Langford if you guys care about him but now let's go ahead and talk about the road to the playoffs series that everyone has that everyone wants to talk about in the warehouse sets there is a um, like coaches the stadiums the uniforms the playbooks everything uh, that you guys can do right now with your you know cards you pull the bronze cards out of your packs those sets are expiring in the warehouse now what in the world does that mean here is proof right here so stadiums collect all 32 stadiums earn a three badge pack this set expires on November 10th at 10 a.m. so 10 a.m. is kind of around the time where we start getting some new stuff sometimes maybe around 10 12 you know a.m. Eastern time uh, sometimes it goes around you know it's like 2 p.m. Eastern time but uh, 10 a.m. kind of seems like around the time that we're probably going to start seeing some new stuff in these warehouse sets. The stadiums, of course, are going away. No longer will you be able to pull your stadium out of your pack and put it into the set and get a three badge pack. That's going away. Home uniforms are going away at the same time. Away uniforms, offensive playbooks, defensive playbooks, and bronze coaches are all going away on November 10th at 10 a.m. So what in the world does that mean? Does that mean that we're going to be getting new, you know, sets that are going to be a lot easier to do? Maybe sets based off of, you know, AFC South, AFC West, AFC North, and you get, you know, more badge packs out of it, and it's a lot easier to do the sets. I don't know. Maybe we're going to get that, or, you know, maybe we're going to be getting something brand new. Maybe we are going to get, be getting the Road to the Playoffs. Maybe there's going to be a Road to the Playoffs version of, you know, stadiums, of coaches of you know playbooks and stuff like that maybe it's going to be changed around or maybe just something that we don't even know about that we've never seen before it's something exciting that's all i know if you are a madden ultimate team player and you are waiting for you know some new stuff to come out in the game then november 10th at 10 a.m which is tomorrow morning we will be getting something new guaranteed is that going to be road to the playoffs i don't know a lot of people are speculating that it is uh like i said in my last market monday you know road to the playoffs is going to be coming within you know the next month um and that was a week ago so within the next two weeks and like i said as early as tomorrow and as late as two more weeks we will be seeing road to the playoffs and we will you know be getting a lot of things changed and shaken up in the madden ultimate team world uh one of which like i said will be the fact that most of the you know base elites and you know other cards and stuff like that will be starting to go down in price um we currently do have that game changer bundle which does give you two additional legendary items. So uh, Game Changer Bundles will guarantee you, um, I think it is a gold badge or better. So that means that gold badges are really you know cheap right now and elite badges are cheap. So we need something to shake everything up. We need something that's gonna you know change the price of a lot of cards and you know do a whole bunch of stuff. Game Changer Bundle really isn't gonna do that, but Road to the Playoffs uh, like certainly will. Uh, there will be cards that you can no longer pool. There will be cards you can no longer get from, you know, doing sets and stuff like that. There's going to be a lot of different things happening, and uh, you guys should be definitely prepared for it. Um, one of the things that I have been doing to prepare is I was actually trying to get as many of these cards that I could. You know, like the 72 overall, 73 overall, 74 overall. This is how many I have right now. Um, I was just going around, you know, buying as many as I could that were like 5k or cheaper just because... I mean, you don't know which one of these cards is going to be a gold mine. Like Jarrell Freeman, you know, last year he was super rare. Um, Sean Weatherspoon was super rare. Uh, Tony Moyaki. I mean, I was just buying a whole bunch of these 73s, just hoping that something could be rare. Like, I look at this card, like this Lyle Collins, and he's having a really good year with the Dallas Cowboys. You know, he was undrafted, and I see that he has a 73 overall card, and it was only like 2K. So I said, why not? You never know. Maybe a Cowboys set will come out. And you need the old version of Lyle Collins and not the new, you know, Road to the Playoffs card that he sure will get. Lyle Collins is definitely a really good player. He's definitely going to get a new gold card. So um, this card is going to be like, a, you know, an old artifact. You know, no one has 73 overall base elite Lyle Collins. I mean, everyone that's watching this video, do you have this card in your binder? Like, I'm not saying that I have it and you don't. Like, it's not like a, a troll or anything like that. It's just like not a lot of people have this card like who thinks to you know save this card what does this card have any meaning for it doesn't go into really any sets besides the gold player set um there's no unique set for it so 
you know, this is why I, I would probably recommend you guys going on the auction block, trying to find some cards that aren't really, you know, um, like expensive right now and actually don't have a set and cards that you think might get a road to the playoffs version because, you know, they love to change uh, what they do with sets as they go on. They love to bring back old cards. They love to put base golds. And when I say base golds, um, that's what you end up calling them once Road to the Playoff comes out. So you have Road to the Playoffs golds, and then you have the base golds. And these are actually the base golds right now. Everything in your binder right now, uh, besides like program stuff, is called base. So uh, the base stuff will definitely end up going for a lot if they put it into sets because you will no longer be able to pull those base cards. So that's pretty much why I have all these cards just saved up. I'm going to get a lot more after this video um, because now for sure... Like I said, a lot of people are speculating that Road to the Playoffs is coming out. And uh, definitely, it would be nice to prepare. Because uh, like I said, you never know which one of these cards is going to be a gold mine. You just, you just never know. So uh, without, you know, just going on forever about it, just make your own decisions. Try to figure out what cards you guys want. Um, I would, Like I said, I would recommend cards that kind of are going to have better versions of the cards. So if you can find like a 72 to 74 overall gold card, that is probably going to get like a you know, a higher overall gold or maybe even an elite upgrade, I would probably go for them. But uh, that's going to be Market Monday, guys. If you guys did enjoy the video, give it a like, subscribe if you are new, and I will talk to you guys later and give you guys an update on Road to the Playoffs coming out soon. Peace.